it's about 6.50 a.m. I picked up a last minute job in OKC, and by last minute I mean like, hey, can you do this tomorrow kind of a thing. Um, I'm doing video for a project that my brother-in-law, Jaren, is recording. Um, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this one. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a pretty cool thing that we're doing today, that we're getting to do today. So if you're into music and guitars and gear and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna wanna keep watching. Craig got a rooster the other day. He sounds like he's about to go off. There's something you need to know about Oklahoma if you've never been here. They have these things called stickers. They're like tiny little spiky balls that get in your shoes and ruin your day. They're about to make me late, actually. I'm digging the light this morning, though. I wish I could have this lighting all day, every day. I had to stop and get some energy for the morning. Okay, headed into Walrus. Hey Philip, how's it going? Good. Okay, I think we're just about set up. I'm working on lighting, making sure I can get the backlight and everything set the way it needs to be. Yeah, if we're doing three takes, I think it'll work. Serious business at Walrus Audio. Super Smash Brothers. Destroyed you guys. I'm not proud. What can I say? That's a wrap. How'd we do, Jaren? I think we did good. We got it. Got it. Just one take. Crazy. <laughs> There's probably something in here that I'm not supposed to film. Uh, yeah. I think it's all over there. Okay. <laughs>
those are really cool arts on those. Oh. And the winner is. We'll do an unboxing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, happy birthday. It's your birthday? <laughs> it's your birthday. It is. This is the best birthday ever. It is. All right, we're done, headed home. I have a long afternoon of editing ahead of me. You're gonna have the mix done on that this afternoon, right? Nope. He said it was okay. Had to drop off the camera with my friend who I borrowed it from. This is where he works. Camera's welcome. That's good. You told me to be honest. Though I know just what you'd say. And it can... From there, we went up and brought it to a farmer's land and buried it. And it, so it decomposed underground, and then two years later we went and dug it up and spent another two years on chemicals. And somebody didn't know that you buried it there, and then they just <laughs> That's found right. it. Yeah, this How is did giant. this whale get here? Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so this one has about 350 skeletons, uh, one in Orlando has over 500. Wow. And we still have enough specimens in storage for another two museums. Wow. That's pretty so, yeah. Don't let's stop that again. I'm really into this. <laughs> he said that I can touch it. It's so cool. Since we both got away. I'm really digging this. This is super cool. Kind of geeking out over it, actually. It's it's almost as creepy as it is cool. I might have to edit this one during the daytime and not at night. And it 